Good morning, everyone. Um, today is the 21st. We have exactly a week left of February. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's go from there. So, now comes up, what do you do whenever you have a really good day and then you get some really craptastic news about halfway through? Uh, you put in two colors. It's about how that's gonna go. Um, so for those of you who had watched some of the rest of my stuff, um, my other days in here, um, you've heard that my mom and my stepdad are in Dallas, and they don't live there, they actually have an RV. So they, they roam around all over the place, but, um, found out that, well, we, we knew beforehand that, um, my subject has cancer, and, yeah, so we found out, um, we thought that it was stage one, but because the same cells that are in his pancreas are also in his lungs, because that's just how that works, they're, they're the same cells and they can travel, um, <clears throat> and I have hairballs today, um, wow, so, yeah, they can, the cells can travel, they said that they didn't travel, but either way, before, um, they went out of country, <clears throat> whenever they went out of country, he was stage one, and then yesterday, they labeled him as stage four, which is the highest you can go, um, so, yeah, from what I read up on it, they actually gave him, um, six months more of a life expectancy than, than normal, I guess. But he starts chemo on, um, on Monday, and we'll see how it goes. Um, we're all hopeful, but it's, it is what it is. He's in his mid-70s. Um, yeah, it's, you know, me, me saying stuff on here sounds really, the way that I say things makes me sound like I don't care or makes it sound like I'm, I'm being heartless. And the truth is that it sucks that he will be in pain and not feeling good. And that's the worst part, but dying is inevitable. It, you know, and I mean, I, I feel horrible for him. I feel horrible for my mom. Other than that, it's, that's kind of how that goes. I feel, I feel bad. So anyway, I thought I would give everybody an update who sees this. Um, so the weekend will be, the weekend's gonna be a little weird. I am will probably not post anything just because we're going to be in Dallas and me setting this up there and doing all that is kind of crazy. So yeah. Um, I cleaned up the kitchen a little bit, but we got the news sorta, sorta early in the day and that pretty much stomped all all doings of kitchen stuff. Um, and then Ember decided that she was going to wake up at 12.30. She, she's been having a tough time with taking a nap. Um, we went to go and get McDonald's yesterday because I figured, you know, we needed it. Usually we're going. I don't mean to yawn. I'm very tired <laughs> and I'm trying to tell you why I'm tired. Um, normally we get McDonald's once a week just because it's something that she and I can do and then we'll take it back here and we'll eat and everything. And, um, so we did that and then she didn't want to eat dinner and that caused her to be a brat and I know that she was tired too. So I have to, we have to work out new nap schedules and stuff. Like maybe she doesn't need to take a nap anymore after school. Um, I know that she hasn't 
She's been okay, but I don't think she's been feeling well because everybody else in school has been sick. And she's kind of the only one who hasn't been. Um, so far today they had five kids out for being sick, which is crazy. So, uh, yeah. Um, so I know that she hasn't been feeling her best and she wants to go home and, and snooze for a bit. But she does it so, she does it at like four or five. And we eat lunch at around, or wow, we eat dinner at around six. So, try to get her to wake up and eat. And then she goes to bed at, um, at, you know, 8.30. It's just, it's been a pain. So she didn't want to eat dinner. Which means that at 12.30 she was, she wasn't crying, but she was whining. And I, being a mom, and I, I don't know if other moms do this, but they'll wake up and think that they hear their child, but their child sound asleep. I had this problem forever. And it doesn't help that I don't sleep anyway. Like, I don't, I don't sleep very well. While I'm a heavy sleeper at times, I'm also a very light sleeper, and even the littlest noise will wake me up. It's very hard to get back to sleep. Um, but yeah, we, uh, I heard her whining. I'm not even going to call it crying because she wasn't crying. It, it was trying to get attention, but didn't want to get out of bed. So I woke up and she said she was hungry and she's, she's four years old. Um, we give her, we give her the proper amount of food and everything if, and we've gotten to the point to where if she doesn't eat it, it's her own fault. Um, whenever she was a baby and she would wake up in the middle of the night, of course I would give her hot dogs or I would do something. I would make sure that she was fed and then we would go back to sleep. Um, she's four now. That's not the case. She knows that she needs to eat dinner. So, I, she said she was hungry at 12.30 and I said, no, you... You made the choice, you had the decision whether or not to eat, and this is the consequence, is that you will you will wait until morning to eat. No problem. So I made her, um, normally she eats applesauce and yogurt, and I made her an egg because I knew that she was hungry, so it's not like I'm being the, the terrible abusive mom. I'm actually, I, I made her breakfast this morning. Um, and I don't think that we'll be doing McDonald's anymore just because... I, did, I just don't want this to happen anymore. That's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, that's about where I'm at. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't really have anything else. I'm tired. Uh, she decided, I'm going to say around two o'clock in the morning, two, maybe three. I don't know. I didn't look at my watch. Um, she decided to open her door. And of course, her she has um, blue Christmas lights in the uh, in her bedroom, so that you know she has a nightlight, which is cool. That doesn't bother me. However, with her room being right across from ours, um, Nate got blasted with blue light, and of course he didn't want to get up because if he gets up, then that means Ember might be awake, and then he has to deal with it, and he doesn't want to deal with it either. So, <laughs> which is horrible to say, but I, I mean, if you're a parent, you totally get it. So I did not blame her for not waking up. I am so sorry that I'm yawning, by the way. All right. Red and green. No, but I do need to take a shower tonight because... This weekend we are going to, um, we're going to drive to Dallas basically Friday. I'm going to get everything all situated and me, Ember, and the dog are going to go and spend the night and then here's, here's how this is going to work. Um, Friday, I'm going to pick Ember up from school with Copper and we're all going to go to Dallas. My husband cannot go because he's on call. Um, and it's an hour and a half away. It's just too far if he gets a call. So, that being said, um, yeah, it's, he's, he's gonna stay here. 
So, of course, I had made the, uh, the motherly way of saying that, you know, hey, you get a free night, you booger. Because he does. He's, um, I'm putting the dog into, into the kennel for the night. He's gonna, my dog is going to be babysat. And it's basically, I don't know how late that Nate's going to stay Friday night. I also do not know if he's going to have a call or something on Saturday. Putting Copper in daycare for the, for the night works really well. Um, so yeah, it's, it is what it is. It's what we do to, to work it out. And then... We have carpet coming in, our final, our final <laughs> thing coming in on Saturday at 11. So that means that I need to wake up, I'll probably set an alarm for 8 o'clock, wake up and head here. Well, wake up, get copper, and then head here because it's a two hour drive. The way that I have to go is basically around to go get copper, and then up I could probably drive through though, but I don't know. Um, because it's, it's Dallas and Fort Worth, and then we're kind of up here, so I have to go around, and then I have to go up. So, the things that we do for our family, which I'm not even, like, I'm not even, um, what's the word? I'm not even upset about it. It just, it is what it is. We make it work. Um, I know that yesterday I just barely, um, not right. Woohoo, a whole one day. <laughs> it is what it is. I, um, see the thing is, is that for all of, all of you writers out there, you know that you have to be in a mood. You have to be in a certain mood in order to write, especially if it isn't something that you do every day. Like, I, I journal in here, but if it's not something that you do every day, then you have to be in a mood in order to do it. And I, with the house and everything, I've clearly not been in the mood to do it. So... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Alright, so new sheet. Ta da da. <sighs> I need a nap. I didn't even, my alarm went off at 6 20, Nate's goes off at 6 30. And I seriously, I didn't even, um, I didn't even feel it go off at all. So his actual alarm for work goes off at at 6:30. He wakes up 10 minutes after me, and it works really well so that I can um I can wake up, I can make him coffee. Things like that. I don't drink the coffee myself, but it smells nice. Um so yeah. You know, I I do Something nice for him in the morning. That's kind of how that works. So, going to fast forward and fill this out, and then I will catch you up on it afterwards. There will be no video of the kitchen. <laughs> so, I'm going to fill this out, and then we'll talk about it. Alright, so I don't have 
I don't have a whole lot to do. <clears throat> doing YouTube thing right now. Um, I have a few boxes in the dining room area that need to be figured out uh, before I. Be <laughs> Nate had told me because I had said, you know, if if you could put um, some of the boxes in to some of the kitchen boxes in the kitchen since we have free space now where the cabinets that weren't up are yeah that made any sense um the space where the cabinets were sitting if you could put them there that would be great and he said that I needed to clear out the four three or four boxes that are over in the dining room first that's fine um most of it is baking stuff which I haven't baked since it's been a hot minute no pun intended um so yeah it's been a while and I I need to figure out if I want to keep the food coloring if I want to keep the you know the flavors if yeah we'll see how it goes um at the moment I'm just tempted to throw everything away really because I'm tired I have to try to not take a nap today the kid doesn't take a nap, I don't take a nap. That means that we're both going to be royal pains whenever Nate gets home. I might actually go to bed early. Um, I'd also like to write today. Not journal, but actually write more of the story. I know that, like, I feel... Um, emotionally, I feel good. I feel better after the kitchen cabinets were all up. But I'm just tired today. And I know that Nate wants those done. He wants to see some progress on the kitchen. So if I can get... And they're, they're easy boxes to do. It's just look through and, and trash it or put it away. So it's either or. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at today. It doesn't look like a big list. But it's a big list. <laughs> and it will probably... Um, while I have this... The, the chores one is kind of for kitchen. I got a feeling it's going to go like into dinner time. And I'm just going to be lazy. So yeah. That's that's kind of my day. Um, how are you? How are you taking Thursday Eve? Because really, um, man, February sucks. I We weren't ready for, for stage four. But we will work through it. You guys have a nice Friday Eve.